guys doing? This is very important in reverence to my DNA and my genetics and my uh, saliva and digestive uh, history of food products. I, I need my dentist to uh, make a video in reference to what kind of food product and hello Jewish uh, physicians and Catholic physicians. This is very important in reference to my DNA personally. In reference to my dentist and family history of course I need the dentist to make a statement in reference to what type of food product that would ever cause damage to my teeth. Don't leave nothing out in reference to information. Now we know cigarettes does not cause damage to my teeth. And you know that, right? And you know I don't drink even though drinking is legal and they know that that wouldn't cause damage to my teeth either because I eat a well-balanced deal about meal or diet and I don't drink anyways but you know so in reference to these people they claim that they thought soft drinks would cause damage to a person that has hypoglycemia no when a person needs sugar naturally because they come from a tall family or a large family or they have a good metabolism that would not cause teeth damage of any kind so, you know, in reverence, not in reverence, it wouldn't cause me any teeth damage because, you know, I'm hypoglycemic and I'll always be hypoglycemic, you know, which means I always need sugars and I'll always, you know, grow in certain particulars of things. But, you know, in reverence to the dentists and the Jewish physicians that know me and that knew my parents, my real biological parents, I need them to make a statement in reference to uh, what type of food product would cause teeth damage. We know sugar doesn't cause teeth damage. We know cigarettes wouldn't cause teeth damage or gum damage or anything like that or facial bending or facial warping of any kind. So we, we need that documented too. And they know that, you know, I have very rare genetics and these people tried to steal my genetics and they tried to claim they were trying to make cures for their diseases because I have rare genetics. And those people need to get arrested for mutilating my teeth and and causing me physical injuries. But you know, in reference to the Jewish positions and Catholic positions, and hello Asia, a lot of people know me, you know, and uh, there's Asian physicians that know me too. So you know, in reference to uh, the information, we need those physicians to make statements of. What things would cause damage to my teeth? Like food products. We know salad doesn't. We know chicken and beef and turkey and fish does not. We know canola oil does not cause any damage. We know coffee doesn't cause any damage. We know uh, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise doesn't cause any damage to my teeth. Cheese doesn't cause any damage. Bread doesn't cause any damage. Like, like what would cause damage if it was left on my teeth? Like, if I didn't brush my teeth for a week. Let, let's see, you know, the information. And somebody say, oh, your breath would stink. No, my saliva is pretty good in reference to digestion. So, you know, uh, in reference to these people and their terrorism of teeth mutilations, and, and there's restraining orders on these people, so they wouldn't have a right getting close to my face or mouth at all in the first place, even though they've been doing these things to me, burning me with satellites, and they thought they'd try to get up in my face all the time with their satellite, and they've caused warping of the face and damage on the face and mutilation, and they've smashed in my upper lip. They were trying to make my nose look big by smashing in my upper lip. Those government people need to get prosecuted. So, you know, in reference to a dentist of my, you know, family history, you need a dentist to make a video saying, okay, well, you know, even if he drank Kool-Aid with sugar or iced tea with sugar or, or coffee with sugar or soda drinks with sugar, he's hypoglycemic, so that all digests, you know, pretty much immediately, you know. And uh, somebody else say, you know, well, what else is, uh, what else could be something that they would say, you know, what else, what else would they say about, you know, something like, well, well, if he ate candy bars, no, candy bars and chocolate wouldn't damage his teeth, no sugary products would damage his teeth, like, even if I didn't brush my teeth, because my dentist knows in the past 
there had been times where I went months intentionally for the research of this information you know, when I was little too of what would cause damage to my teeth nothing in reference to any food or FDA approved food product hot sauce or spice I don't really eat hot sauce really but uh, only hot temp medical industry you know want somebody to make a statement like if I ate fettuccine alfredo or spaghetti or you know of course my mouth would smell like the food product only for a short while because I drink soft drinks diet soft drinks you know which I always drink diet soft drinks sometimes I'll drink Dr. Pepper or some other soft drink or 7-Up or whatever but you know it just depends it doesn't sound like man's still been damaging my face and teeth or Sprite. You know, I've drank Sprite before, but I'm hypoglycemic all the time. So, you know, I, my body always could use sugar. You know, it always metabolizes. So, you know, in reference to the government, man, and, you know, I don't do no drugs, not never. So anybody trying to make up drug shit, you can get put on trial for the death penalty. But, you know, in reference to uh, the history of things, Need those physicians to say, hmm, okay, uh, you can eat peanut butter and jelly, uh, fruits, vegetables, meat, chicken, bread, and candy. You can eat all the candy you fucking wanted and would never cause damage to his teeth. No sugar, sugar would never cause damage to his teeth. No. So, so we need that a statement of that because we know that 100% because I went through that testing of that before. So in reference to these satellite controllers and these government people damaging my teeth, we needed explained, you know, why they thought they had any right terrorizing my life. Trying to frame me and trying to murder me with their teeth mutilation games and their activity of damaging my skin and body. We need those people in court. But, you know, in reference to uh, physicians that know my genetics and people that have known me, and that knew my parents, you know, and family history. We need uh, them to make some YouTube videos about that. So these people can get put on trial for their crimes. For damaging my face and teeth. And these people trying to steal my penis. These people trying to steal blood and sperm all the time. These people holding me hostage. Trying to call me a nobody. When the royal protocol's in the media. And it's the documentation of my identity only. And who my parents are and family history, you know. Lots of things of importance, and these government people are still trying to call me a nobody. And the reason why I'm so documented, and yet these fucking people tried to confuse my identity, these people tried to impersonate me, and they must get prosecuted.